In our last video, we learned how friction can either help motion or work against it. Now it's time to see how friction affects things in real life. From race cars and running shoes. To a surfer slicing across a wave. Let's look at some examples. Let's start with something simple. Hiking boots. Why do you think the bottom of hiking boots have deep, bumpy patterns instead of being smooth? Take a second to think about it. If you said it's to help grip the ground and stop you from slipping, you're right. The rougher the surface is, the greater the friction. So those rough patterns increase friction between your boots and the trail. Other examples of this include the thick treads on car tires, the knobby wheels on mountain bikes, and the grip tape or wax used on surfboards to stop surfers from sliding off as they cruise through a hollow barrel. Let's try another easy one. The shiny surface of a slide in a playground. Why do you think slides are made so smooth and slippery? Have a guess. If you said it's to reduce friction so you can slide down faster, spot on. Smooth surfaces create less friction, which means easier motion and more speed. The same goes for the bottom of a snowboard. Designed to be super smooth, so riders can carve the slopes and glide effortlessly down the mountain. You'll also notice this in places like warehouse floors, where smooth concrete makes it easier to slide heavy boxes or roll trolleys with less effort. Now here's a trickier one. Why do you think it's harder to push something when it's heavier? Think about it for a moment. If you said it's because there's more force pushing down, which creates more friction, you're absolutely right. Imagine you're at the gym, trying to push a weighted sled across the floor. The more weights you stack on top, the harder it gets to move. That's also why pushing a full wheelbarrow takes way more effort than pushing an empty one. And if you've ever struggled with a fully loaded shopping trolley, you'll know it doesn't glide nearly as smoothly as an empty one. Now here's something cool to finish with, ice skates. Why do you think skaters can glide so smoothly across the ice? Of course, the ice itself is smooth to help minimize friction but it's also because of the thin metal blade on the bottom of the skate. It has a very small surface area touching the ice. Less surface area means less friction, which makes it easier to move quickly and smoothly. We see the same idea when we compare different types of bike tires. Dirt bikes have wide, thick, chunky tires that grip the ground and create more friction perfect for rough and slippery trails. But professional cyclists use thin, smooth tires. Why? To reduce the surface area touching the road, so there's less friction slowing them down. And less friction means more speed. So whether you need extra grip and speed to make it out of a barrel, 
or you're churning through a muddy track to win a dirt bike race. Understanding friction helps you stay in control and make every move count. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe!